Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and today is September the 13th. I'm going to do your spiritual principle of day in a meditation with you. I'm brought to you by Hope Through Navigation, and this is our Hood Recovery Services. Let's go ahead and get into that meditation. September the 14th, excuse me. Today is September the 14th. Hopefully I said that. Okay, September 14th. Service, purpose, and belonging. Service helps us feel like we belong. We have a place and a purpose. The experience can be humbling. Doing as the group asks rather than as we choose is a form of surrender. Guiding Principles, Tradition 1 for Groups. Feelings of belonging don't often come easy for us addicts, though some of us faked it well. We were social chameleons who so often felt like imposters, masking insecurity with perfectionism and hiding our control issues behind allegedly high standards and attention to detail. For others of us, that game seemed like way too much work. We were too cool for all that. We prized our loner status. Or maybe we were just too high to care. Whatever our situation was, most of us have been on a difficult path to a sense of community and solidarity. In meetings, we hear right away that our desire to get clean, no matter how desperately or indifferently, we feel it, is our ticket to membership. We are also told and shown by example how important service in, is in solidifying our relationship to the fellowship and in helping us to stay clean. Until I eventually took my sponsor's direction and took on a service commitment, I never felt like I was really a part of in NA one member shared. I never thought I wanted to be. All of a sudden, I had a voice. I started to use it, and people even listened. I took on five commitments in the first 30 days. A newer member shared. I stayed clean, but I made everyone bananas with my brilliant ideals to make everything better. Soon I found out about group conscience which wasn't necessarily the same as my conscience. I always wanted to know why, why, why. And someone with a lot of time shared, after 33 years, I still find it hard to let go and let the group. I want to explain all the history of how we do things in NA. I may be older, but that doesn't always make me the wisest, unfortunately. If I am not on, excuse me, if I am not an NA service warrior, I'm going to become one within reason. If I'm a talker in business meetings, I'm going to make an effort to be a listener. If I am a doer, I'm going to teach someone else how. If I'm a control freak, I'm going to try to let go and let the group just for the day. Isn't that a beautiful meditation? This meditation is talking about the spiritual principle of service and humility and surrender um, and letting the group be the conscience instead of our conscience being the conscience, instead of us trying to control everything. Um, and it gives maybe two or three, three examples of different members and their experience um, one individual uh, within 30 days was already committed to five different responsibilities, um, overzealous, but excited about their recovery nonetheless, driving everyone crazy. Another member with over 33 years was uh, continually trying to let go and let the group and not let their length of time, their seniority, be the reason why everyone should listen to them. And that takes a lot of humility 
right? It, it takes a lot of humility to have some uh, substantial amount of clean time and experience in doing service work and then working with individuals that are continually coming coming up with ideals, coming on board. Um, they don't know the format of service uh, committees. Uh, it takes some humility to to be patient. And sometimes our older members just get fed up um, with trying to make sure that the system of um, service work, the business meetings, the committees are being run the way they were taught. And they walk away from it. And sometimes whole areas uh, tend to collapse because they don't have anyone to train them and to teach them. Uh, people do burn out. We need more hands in the pot, right? We need more people working and doing service work. And so today I just want you, want you to think about whether or not you're doing service and how well are you surrendering to the group conscience? Are you a person that when it comes to going to business meetings in area that people cringe seeing you walk through the door? because of how self-centered you are, right? You you really don't have a grid for the 12 concepts of service. If that's the case, we need to change that. If people never expect you to walk into the, the doors of uh, committees or business meetings because you're, you're just too busy and not available and don't care about it, let's start to care. You benefited from the, um, the, the program and a lot of the service, a lot of the things that you're benefiting from in Narcotics Anonymous have been things that other people have served for years doing, okay? And so we want to participate in our recovery. If we're able, if we're able, let's find something, something service-related in Narcotics Anonymous Let's find something service-related in our community that we can do and expect nothing back, right? Other than to be able to carry the message to the addict that is still suffering, which is beautiful to me. I don't think that I need to expound too much more other than to encourage you, encourage you to do service work. I've enjoyed talking to you this morning and I will be talking to you tomorrow, God willing. Have a beautiful day on purpose.